Cricket is, of course, India's favorite team sport, but back home in America, we have our own bat and ball sport, baseball, one that my wife happens to be a big fan of. So today on American Indian, we compare and contrast the two sports and decide to play some fusion bat and ball sports together. We teach some Indian friends and viewers baseball, they teach us cricket, and we mix the two up a bit. It's a cricket meets baseball special edition of American Indian. We're an American family living in India. We love food, film, language, culture, and making new friends. Join our adventures from America to India and beyond. We have been getting requests for a long time to make an episode about cricket, so we decided to take the better part of March and April, getting to know the sport better, watch some cricket on TV and some movies about cricket, and play some cricket with friends. It's a good time of the year because the Indian Premier League is running right now. The shorter, more fast-paced, high-scoring version of one-day cricket that serves as a good introduction to cricket for people who are new to the sport. But this year in particular proved to be a good time to do a cricket episode because this March happened to be the Cricket World Cup. The last World Cup was won by India just a month before we first arrived in India as a family back in 2011. India was the favorite team this year, so we thought a good way to honor their undefeated performance in the group stage would be to do another music video. This ball is going out to cover drives and straight masterpieces. This time, take that catchy Ronson and Mars duo, Uptown Funk, and change a few words around to make it about India, and use the hashtag to catchphrase that has been going around, we won't give it back about keeping the World Cup. We had some surfing violinist fans over. Pranay Agarwal of the YouTube channel The Naughty Kid Productions showed up and busted some moves with a friend. Luke put on his funk dance shoes. And Shimon Das, a fellow YouTuber, also pitched in with some dance moves via webcam. I was really happy with how it turned out. There was just one problem. We got the idea kind of late and finished the music video on the day India played Australia in the last semifinal. And as one viewer put it, <clears throat> we gave it back. The positive benefit of that experience was that it definitely made me sympathize with Indian cricket fans. I felt their pain. I mean, I'm not a professional, but I don't see how that's an error. The daily vlog from that day ended up having two and a half minutes of darkness at the beginning. It was not planned at all. I guess it was in such mourning I didn't even notice. Wah, wah, wah. India lost. If you want to deny reality, go watch our parody of Uptown Funk, India vs. Australia, and pretend that it ended a different way. But many fans of cricket didn't have too long to mourn because IPL was on its way. A viewer named Devavrat Sohoni had some really insightful points about the differences between baseball and cricket. He said that cricket always had a gentleman's kind of feel, more slow-paced, more proper in terms of dress, more nuanced in terms of field maintenance and ball use, kind of like the golf of bat and ball sports. While baseball, he pointed out, has always been more of a sucker for the swagger. The emphasis on home runs, the shorter games, the quintessential image would probably be Babe Ruth calling the shot. But with IPL, cricket has definitely turned over a swag relief when it comes to showmanship. It's probably now a good time to do a bit of a comparison and contrast between the two sports and get a little history. Even though baseball originated in America and cricket originated in England, you can find variations of bat and ball games all around the world throughout history. Over 2,500 years ago in India, the Buddha referenced a bat and ball game in his list of play activities that monks should avoid. And it's believed that the Indian game Gilly Dunda could be that old, in fact. Gilly Dunda is still played today. It's a very easy game to explain in theory. We're going to do a pickup game of Gilly Dunda. I've never played before. But this is like the most honest of bat and ball games because you don't need much equipment. You just need the... Okay, which one is which? This is the Dunda? This is called Dunda. But this is a little big for a Dunda, isn't it? Yeah. But so it's normally, how big would they be? Yeah, normally, the, like this size, maybe uh, some people use a smaller one. Yeah, like half size that? Or this something? size is okay, actually, for me. And then this is the. Gilly. Gilly. I'm sure most local kids have their own variation of the game. You place the gilly on the ground or prop it against a rock or brick, hit the gilly to flip it up in the air, and then hit it again to see how far you can make it go. Where is it? Oh, there it went. All right, so he got a hit. So not the most ideal Dunda in the world, huh? Navratri. Oh. Uncle Ji, Are bhaiya, ye bhagwan ka prasad hai. Rasi. Navratri ho. Ya bhaiya, koi bhi ratri ho, sab bhagwan ki ratri. Ram jo hai, uska janam din kehte hain. Uska? Ram ka. Uska aur gyan ho to. Uska gyan nahi hai. Nahi to hai. Ram nami. 
What does it mean? Ram 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 said today Ram, Lord Ram was born. Hmm. See, Possibly. Good things. You get every day is a school day. School day or holiday? School day, knowledge man. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time. So what is what is the type of prasad that he gave? What is it called? I am just made up. No idea. Not in. I forgot the name. Uh, Murunda. It's called Murunda. 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 Da. Da. Yeah. So it's like Marinda, Marinda. but no. not Marinda. <laughs> no, not Marunda. 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 You leave the Dunda and run outside of a certain boundary to score a run. If someone catches the ghillie in the air, you're out. If someone gets to the ghillie and manages to throw it back at the dunda before you reach the boundary, you're out. Baseball and cricket are a bit more complex, but the general idea is the same. They also call bat and ball games safe haven zones, games in which bases or lines or zones are created where an offensive player is safe from being eliminated from play. In baseball, there are four bases where an offensive player is safe. In cricket, there are two creases to determine where a player is safe. So in both games, nail-biting photo finishes can occur when an offensive player tries to get into the safe zone before the ball does. Runs are scored by reaching home plate or by hitting home runs, which are hits that go outside the boundary of play. And in cricket, a batsman scores points by making it to the other crease from his starting crease. In order to get to home base and score, you have to go through all three of the other bases in order. Once a batter hits a ball, he leaves his bat and becomes a base runner, and his goal is to stay safe and advance along the bases. Whereas in cricket, a batsman holds on to his bat because that gives him a little bit extra length to reach the safe zone so that he won't be out. Back in baseball, there are three outs per team in each inning of play and nine innings in the total game. Baseball is a low run bat and ball game. Cricket, on the other hand, is a very high run bat and ball game. In my experience, one of the best ways to learn a new sport is to watch movies about it. So here are a few baseball movie recommendations for newcomers to the sport. Field of Dreams is considered a classic. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but it has superb performances and is really unique. The Sandlot is probably my favorite baseball movie. It's a kid's movie, but it's a time capsule. It's a mix of so many things. It's an imaginative, mythologized comedy adventure. And if you're looking to get a pulse on American culture, there's some fun references here and you'll definitely learn a lot about baseball. There are a ton of other baseball movies, so if you're a baseball fan, do post a comment below with your favorites. For cricket, my top two recommendations are without question Iqbal and Lagan. Lagan is probably one of the most well-known Indian movies around the world. It was nominated for the Foreign Language Oscar. It tells the story of India's independence struggle through the lens of a cricket match. So much good to learn here culturally. The performances are great. The music is amazing. And Iqbal, in my opinion, is as good as any quintessential feel-good underdog sports movie that I can think of from the U.S. It's about a deaf boy from the village who aspires to be a bowler. It's fantastic. We actually had a movie night with viewers and friends in which we introduced them to the Sandlot and they introduced us to Iqbal. You thought it was a mythical beast? It was actually a mythical beast? I was looking for it to at least send Bernard. But it was a very, very fun movie, yeah. It was nice. I liked it. A Motokonomometer, what would you give it? Oh, he... Ha! Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Somewhere between smile and open mouth smile. Mirrors is, oh, a frowny face, wow. come on. Oh, a simple smile. All right, just regular smile. <laughs> <laughs> Iqbal uh, comp reviews oh, emoticonometers. <laughs> hey, kid, come on, I'm having a video here. <laughs> so, uh, what emoticon does Iqbal get? Or how many runs? <gasps> or how many, yeah, how many runs? Runs? Three, four, four. Four out of six? Yeah. No, three. Eight. Okay, three. A, a three? It doesn't even get a boundary. <laughs> no, three. That's it. Okay. Uh, first ball of all, uh, like the last ball, I think uh, it's a ball. He's a very, very good ball, I guess. So. Oh, okay, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a wicket. Yes, yeah, it's a wicket. Okay, in a good way. Because he's a bowler. Okay, that makes sense. That's actually really good. Three runs and it was a no ball. Four runs. In total. 
<laughs> nice ball. This is very good ball, Ray. It's going to be ball. Kevin, can you speak in cricket terminology? Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay, in oh, complicated. Give it an emoticon rating. Listen, 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 listen. Out of five stars, what does this get? Yeah, the movie is fantastic. But you didn't cry. I didn't cry. I don't have to cry. He doesn't don't cry. cry. He doesn't cry in movies. He's a man. He's a man. Out of five stars. Out of five stars? Yeah. I'll give you three. Oh, no, four. Such. Oh, it was a hat trick. It's a hat trick. If you know what a hat trick is. I can't, I, you kind of. Okay. Uh, three wickets in, 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 in three balls. Oh, it's so it's very, perfect. It's a very, it's a very rare occurrence. All right. So it's good. Uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stick with the batting terminology, not the bowling terminology, because I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a six. Yeah. I'm gonna go that far. I feel like six. it. I feel like it hit exactly what it was trying to do. I can think of ten American sports movies off, like off the top of my head, that it's better than or as good as. Like I actually think it is better than a lot of good. Okay, a movie like um, I really like a movie like Remember the Titans. Which is a football American football movie, which is a great movie. I like it a lot, but I like this movie better than that. I think it's actually a better movie. So I thought it was great. Be some hot actor in the movie you just mentioned. In, in Remember the Titans? Yeah, there are plenty of hot guys, I'm sure. See, there are no hot guys in this movie. Yeah, I mean, Nasruddin, he's got that you know old man charm, you know, that Sean Connery kind of thing going on. Come on. <laughs> no, not enough hot guys in Iqbal. No. <laughs> that night, Rohan began getting into the spirit of cricket. Now that we had a working grasp of cricket and baseball, it was time to start playing. We did two baseball meets cricket events in Delhi, one in the giant park near Nehru Place with the beautiful Baha'i Lotus Temple as a backdrop, and one at the Vijay Mandal Park with the Begumpur Masjid as a backdrop. We had quite a crowd for him and even drew the attention of law enforcement. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some GK questions about baseball. Okay. Baseball. All baseball. right. So, no. on, uh, on a baseball team, how many players are there? Eight. Okay. Uh, eight innings, what, I know. What is like an average score of a given baseball game? Like, what's about an average one, score? One inning? Or? Uh, the full game. So, like, say, Boston to New York. Who, like, what is the score? Blank to blank. 23, 27. All right. Mm -hmm. Name the mascot of a popular uh, baseball team. I know Yankees is the team that I know, but I don't know the mascot. All right, cool. That's fine. Oh, Yankee, that's it. So how many players are there on a baseball team? Twelve. All right, and uh, what is an average score in a given game? Uh, 30, 35. All right, cool. Um, how many innings are there? Eight innings, as you said. Eight innings? Uh, how many outs per inning? How many outs? How many outs in an inning? Uh, uh, don't, don't. Four. Okay, how many strikes in an out? Strikes three. Ah, right three strikes and you're out. That's correct. All right. Uh, how many people are on a cricket team? Um, like playing at a time. Uh, Let's say like seven, eight. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite IPL team? Delhi Daredevils. What? What? Hey, very good. Okay. I went to their game. I mean. Oh, this this is true. Kind of a huge fan. Who's your favorite player on Delhi Daredevils? Um, that British guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite cricket team? Well, that's India. <laughs> well, okay, I, I, what about... I have to go with that. What, an I, what about an IPL? I don't know what IPL means. I only purchased the best, so you are ready. Yeah. I mean, you are ready for the World Cup. Now. Again, Pranay Agarwal, the Naughty Kid Productions from YouTube, showed up with his family, having made and brought for us some homemade lemonade to keep us refreshed. Check out his YouTube channel, link below. Rohan met some local kids and found an interesting new replacement for tree swings. Hi!
Okay. Okay. So, okay. So first, I mean, home plate's here. First base is over there yeah. with a little. What do they call those things again? Stumps. Oh, Bales. yep. There it is. Or blandles or something. Bales. 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 Yeah. All right. And then second base is out behind Suchin. Second base. Oh, uh, way out there somewhere. That's pitcher's huh? mound. This is all like conflict. Pitcher's mound. And then third base is over here. And third base. So okay. home run is you know somewhere. Else. Somewhere out there. Next time we up the ante, the guys from the Lee Humor D YouTube channel joined us. Subscribe below. My buddy Steve, a fellow American living in Noida, came as well. We even met some new friends who are just looking for someone to play cricket with. Let's just do the roll call. Abhid, um, it means not afraid of anyone. Jeez. It does? Seriously, that's Leader. what it means. Leader, Fearless. okay. Fearless. Puneet, uh, it's kind of uh, pure. Uh, <laughs> it kind of means a huge. That's it. Huge. Big. Big. Neeraj. Well, actually, my name is Henry Neeraj. King. Lotus. Yeah, that's Neeraj it. It's Akash and it's simple. Sky. Sky. Sky, there it he is. It's a good sky, sky today. He aims for the sky. It's a good sky today, too. Uh, hi, my name is Varun and uh, I don't know if it... Uh, the rain means, god. Means the rain god or the uh, wind don't god. Rain god, god, uh, uh, god, of, god of water, yeah. Mridul, which hi. means... Sweet. And... A vehicle, which means peaceful. We are three, four guys. We can blend in and play. And okay. And and sure. and Team captain. We are three, Neeraj. four people. Akshay. Akshay. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Raji. Raji. We are four, four, four people. people. You're four more. Yeah. Yeah. So we can expand the boundary. Now. The biggest surprise for me was to see longtime surfing violinist viewer and avid commenter Neeraj Dutta show up all the way from Rajasthan. He woke up before dawn and took a bus to Delhi spent more than the time of the event and travel just to play with us. So thank you very much to Neeraj. This time we got fancy. We even picked team names. All right, what are you Punjab de Sheer. See, man, we can't pick a name that one of our teammates can't even pronounce. Punjab <laughs> I can say it. Sheer. Punjab de Sheer. T-H-E-Y, they. Punjab de Sheer. Yeah. Lion, Lion of Punjab. Punjab. Punjab de Sheer, then I'm from Rajasthan, so we Rajasthan. are. Oh, okay, okay. Here Royals of Rajasthan, we are. No, oh, you can't. Royals has already been picked. I gotta be something else. Rajasthan ke seer. Rajasthan ke seer. 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 Are there mongooses in uh, Rajasthan? Rajasthan's got camels. Uh, so. Not in Rajasthan. In, in, in camels. Rajasthan's got 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 camels. Rajasthan's Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, they all do. Muchar. Muchar. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So are you going to be a mustache or a lion? A lion, I mean, maybe. He's a Rajasthani Muchad? Yeah. Whoa! What are you The game that won't end, man. <laughs> Just tired. Aim right for it. Really? Sure. You can't hit it. If you do, I'll hit it. All right. The mooch, 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 Rajasthan. The proud moochers of Rajasthan has Rajasthan won the match. Second in of the day. We won cricket too. Is it? Yeah. I, I think. I again, told you. Again, folks. I think I'm cursed. We won. <laughs> we lost both baseball and cricket last time we played. We lost both baseball and cricket this time we played. And India lost in the World Cup because I made a oh. video about it. So just don't bet on me. Okay. <laughs> okay. The mustaches clean sweet dust lions. We failed you, Punjab. I'm sorry. Special thanks to everyone who showed up to our baseball meets cricket events. We really enjoyed all of them and it wouldn't have been the same without all of you guys and gal. Actually, I think actually only one local lady showed up and that was Somya. Thank you so much, Somya, for showing up. We will be having at least one event in May, which will be running through Facebook's event page thing, so stay tuned for that if you're in the Delhi area. 
Thank you so much for watching American Indian. Thank you, Patreon supporters, for making this episode possible. If you are seeing this video a month late, please consider donating to Patreon to get priority access and to help us improve the show. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural, and keep it constructive, YouTube. Thank you very much.